Tonight was the opening round of the girls hockey state tournament. So in Southern Maine, the top seeded Cape Elizabeth host, uh, co op hosting Portland Deering. Less than two minutes into the game, freshman, freshman Marina Bassett setting up her classmate Libby Hooper for the goal to give KP the lead. Then early in the second period, the shots coming in from Delaney Witten going to slip right past the goalie and that extends the Cape Elizabeth lead. They win it by a final of eight to two. Fourth seeded Falmouth hosting fifth seeded the York Co-op. Falmouth controlling possession for most of the first period. Amelia Brand shot from the point given the Navigators 1-0 uh, lead. Later in the first, Kate Kinley. Great stick work here. She's going to split the defenders on her way to extending the Falmouth lead. And from there, they advance with the 5-1 win. At the USM Ice Arena, third-seeded Scarborough took on the Biddeford Co-op. Early in the third period, Scarborough's Evelyn Boardman brings the puck behind the net and then passes to Jamie Kemper, who gives the Red Storm a 3-0 lead. A few minutes later, Boardman brings the puck into the zone and passes back to Megan Donovan, who scores that goal, and Scarborough wins that game 4-1. Second seeded Chevre is hosted the Gorham Co-op. Olivia Bradford skates towards the net and sets up Lucy Johnson for that goal. It was 3-0 Chevres after one. Early in the second, Lucy Johnson passes from behind the net to Lily Johnson, who puts the wrist shot into the net to make it 4-0. And then 10 seconds later, Michaela Talbot adds another goal for the Stags and Chevres taking the win in that game 10-3. The game of the night came in the northern main bracket where St. Dom's beat the Winslow Co-op 4-3 in double overtime. But Sethi score the game winner. The Edward Little and Mount Ararat Co-ops also advanced. Top-ranked Lewiston had a bye.